Has anybody had a stress interview? Well, other than what's your name? <laughs> he had, huh? Uh, Edwin. Edwin? Okay. Uh, Edwin had a stress interview, but sometimes it's just one person and they're trying. So you ever go to an interview and you know the guy's in his office, but you're waiting. And you're waiting like 30 minutes for this guy to come out, right? And you're like, man, we had a 1 o'clock. It's 120. He, he still hasn't came out. I know she went back and told him I'm here. That's part of the stress interview. I want to see how you react to waiting. And then I want to see if you say something to my receptionist. Like, what in the world's taking so long? Now, you're impatient now. I'm upset. I'm like, so that's part of the stress interview. There's so many different pieces. I could just start asking you questions that really have nothing to do with the job, just to see how you react. I'm trying to get you off your, off your lane, per se. And the only reason I'm trying to do that is because this is the light, this is the world we're in. So let's just say you're a, you're a customer service rep for Comcast. And people are calling about their bill. Mm -hmm. Well, they're gonna say some things to you that probably, you're, not, you're probably not too happy about. So I wanna make sure you don't say anything back to my customer, right? Um, because then I'm going to get sued and I'm going to lose money and all that. But that's one of the purposes of the stress interview. I want to make sure that you can handle being uncomfortable. 